Hello everyone, Ben here and welcome back to Race Room. Yes, we're back with another video. They're coming thick and fast at the moment, reflecting the fact we've just had some really good races recently and I couldn't resist bringing this F4 race from the Nürburgring to you as well from the Race Room ranked servers. If you enjoy it, do remember to hit the like button, get subscribed to the channel, uh, but for now, let's get down to the grid. So we've had a strong qualifying then, we're in 6th place on the grid, just behind our SCB buddy Patrick Dietz up ahead of us. And we get a decent break away from the lights, but actually a little bit sluggish compared to the guy alongside us who is now pulling up ahead. So we're down into 7th place. It does provide us a little bit of space to get to the outside, which is where I want to be through this corner. Get on the brakes and just roll the car through a little bit down over the bump and then try and hug to the inside apex here. It's a really tricky complex of corners here at the Nürburgring. You're almost guaranteed contact somewhere in the field as these corners concertina the cars together. We've managed to make the apex here so we're side by side with the car that we lost out to on the line. He manages to hold it through the inside apex so we're going to switch then to the outside for the next corner. We got a better exit so we're going to be fully alongside into the braking zone but unfortunately he has the high ground into the corner we have to just get out of it because it's not worth risking an accident and then we've got Sikorsky behind us who's putting pressure on too so we are down one spot off our starting place but no damage uh, and all to play for in this race the times in qualifying very tight all the way through the top six. Oh, and look at that the car up ahead spears off to the right hand side gets it wrong in on the exit of the hairpin so we've actually got that place back we're up in the sixth position uh, without having to make uh, a proper pass on track uh, I was saying the times in the top six or seven very very tight together so I'm expecting a brilliant race and if we can secure a top six finish then that will be brilliant coming round then the tricky right hander I find it the most challenging corner on the circuit and it's so important because you need a good exit speed onto this back straight we're coming up the hill then towards the chicane I've got Sikorsky in my mirrors who's looking to make moves cars up ahead going side by side and it looks as if something's happened up ahead and that's Dietz off to the left hand side that's a big shame for him coming into the final corner then the guy up ahead leaves a gap so we dive to the inside alongside Zap we're going wheel to wheel through the final corner and we're going to exit the corner wheel to wheel as well we haven't quite made the move stick but that was an opportunistic little dive to the inside as he left the apex open and we had a little bit more speed going into it we're still side by side here we get on the brakes as late as we dare we're going to run slightly deep we're going to come through the corner then just about hold it within track limits a tiny bit of contact with zap but we make the move stick in the end it looked like something went on behind us with Sikorsky and he's dropped all the way down the field now so perhaps we can take a little look at that on the replay in a moment but we're up to fourth position what an eventful opening lap where we were able to just about keep our nose clean and despite losing a spot off the start which we're now looking at here uh, we have actually made some gains so this then is the replay of the start we're heading down into T1 uh, I'm using the helicopter cam here just to give you a sense uh, of how different cars are positioning themselves on the track we go around the outside of T1 to just make sure we don't get pinched on the apex and we position our car well then for the next set of corners where I don't really want to get pushed out wide again here we're going to try and get down the inside but we're a little boxed in I can't roll the car all the way through here we might to get around there's more contact in the back there uh, of the shot but we are safely through we get a better exit than the car up ahead so we're gonna go alongside him here into the left hander we're just not close enough though so we get out of it early and allow him through a little bit of pressure coming on us then from Sikorsky as a result of that because we had a compromised run through the left hander in terms of getting out of the way of the car ahead here's how Dietz ended up out of um, contention at the front of the field a tiny bit of contact from the car behind was enough to send him around and then here's the opportunistic pass that we made into the final corner you'll see it here we just have enough space to go over it so we dive down the inside tiny bit of tyre rubbing but nothing 
nothing wrong with that and we were able then to get alongside on the start finish straight and it's a drag race at this point uh, we just have to hope uh, that essentially we can keep the inside line and get on the brakes just slightly later we've got Sikorsky in our draft behind us we get on the brakes just about the right time it's going to run us a little deep into the corner but we can keep hold of it and keep on track and then there's just a tiny bit of contact but nothing too bad and there's Sikorsky off in the background let's take a look from his on board as to what happened there then here he goes down the inside and oh he's just misjudged that slightly and it's enough to tip him into a spin over the laps ahead then there was a fantastic battle raging for the lead of this race Westenfeld and Wood are going hammer and tongs at each other here. Westenfeld in the lead, Wood just behind in the yellow liveried car, really trying to force the issue and get down the inside and claim first position. We're trying to close up on the back of third spot here, so it looks like it could be a four-way battle for the lead as we rejoin the live action. We are still behind Birkelback here, looking to try and put a bit more pressure on, and then we've got Wood and then Restenfeld up in first position. We come through uh, the S's section of the track then, and we're just trying to close up on the back of third place and get ourselves up into the podium spots, which would be a great result for us here. We've got Davey and Zap behind us a good couple of seconds back, so we've got a bit of breathing space to the cars behind as we look to then get forward in this race rather than having to defend from behind. About 10 minutes left of the race then, so third in, and it's been a really, really good start. I should say, at this point, this race was recorded during a live stream of my SCB buddy, Chris Rogers. He's unfortunately had a bit of a nightmare and is towards the back of the pack, but the stream itself was brilliant fun. His races uh, on Race Room and iRacing, which he covers on his channel, are fantastic content as well. So if you're not subscribed to Chris, make sure you do. I've left a link in the description below. You won't be disappointed, I promise. We're then on to the next lap, quickly got to dive back to the live action here because we're closing in on the car ahead and oh we just get away with misjudging hot braking, we locked up as we were just going too hot and I thought for a moment I was either going to take myself out or even worse, uh, take Burkle back out and thankfully uh, we just about avoided it, a little bit of an assist to race room's generous crash physics there because that could have been a nasty one and it's a reminder to me that I can't get carried away here, I don't want to throw away the good work that we've done so we settle back into fourth position a little bit humbled after that and just thinking okay I need to not um, run it in too hot into some of these corners I've got to be closer if I'm going to try and make a move there um, not that that was an overtaking move but I was just essentially pushing too hard into this tricky uh, hairpin coming up then key for me here is getting down into second gear as early as you can and then trying to spot the acceleration on the apex the guy up ahead has ran in a little bit deep so we've actually closed right in on him here we're within half a second as we come through the fast s's flat here all day long uh, and trying to just get our upshifts right as well not over revving the car uh, as we come up to maximize our speed down into fourth gear here and just let the car almost drift through these corners you don't really need to apply a lot of brake in the f4 car in most of these corners hug the apex nicely then we can get on the gas early and he's ran wide that's going to be our chance we're going to get alongside we're going to way more forward momentum and that is us up into third position here in the podium spots fantastic stuff unfortunate for Birkelback but that is the risk through that right hander that you end up running wide because you want to get on the gas you're heading on to a big straight and you don't want to be any slower than you have to be into that corner but if you get it wrong then the punishment is really very big indeed Let's take a little look back then at first the lockup into T1 and how fortunate we got to not rear end uh, the driver up ahead into oblivion. Thankfully, just saved that in time. And then later on, here he is running wide and we're able to scoot down at the inside. It's an easy pass from that point because we've just got so much more momentum than he does. We're going to be pulling away all the way up the hill and into the chicane. So I've just got to spot my braking as normal and then the position will be ours. We rejoin the live action then with about six minutes left to go. What follows here is just a brilliant battle between myself and wood up ahead as we try and push each other uh, to set faster and faster lap times to hold on to that second place. Westenfeld has 
managed to pull a little bit of a gap on both of us uh, at the moment. He's three and a half seconds up the road from us. So not out of contention uh, for us to get uh, into the um, first spot on this race, but it's not looking very likely with just five minutes left. I think a realistic aim is to get up into second place. Uh, but that is going to be challenging because Wood is running some really good pace here. We're down into the two minute uh, point ones. Uh, that's about as fast as I've ever lapped uh, in this combination. Um, so really I'm pushing on as fast as I can without risking losing the car. Um, we've really got about a gap of around a second. That's where it's been to Wood uh, over the last lap and a bit. So I'm just going to try and squeeze closer onto him here as we get through again into this tricky right-hander. He's ran wide, but we followed him out. I don't think we were as wide as he was, but that is unfortunate for us because he's, he's made a mistake. That's what we've been waiting for. But unfortunately, we made a small mistake too. You can see we're closing here all the time, but because it's the fast chicane uh, variant of the circuit, there really isn't the braking zone here to get alongside. We try and carry as much speed as we can, but within half a second, but it's not going to be enough to try and get alongside into the final corner uh, as we did earlier in the race so now we're going to have to just settle into his draft hope that we can close in on him towards the first corner here but it doesn't look like we're going to be able to this time around but there's a sign then that there could be something for us here uh, in terms of this battle with Wood. If he makes another mistake, we can't afford to follow him into it. We have to be ready to capitalise uh, because that could be our only chance of getting past. But you can see how evenly matched our times are. We're running very consistent pace here. So that was a two minute point two, uh, which is only a tenth or so shy of our previous lap time. And over a two minute lap, uh, that's pretty good going, I think. Um, so we just have to keep this pressure on. Hope that we can force a bit of a mistake here once again and squeeze on by for his part westenfeld is now a good four seconds clear so um, the fact that we're pushing each other and just making a few small mistakes here is playing into his hands Birkelbach is a good 1.4 seconds behind us now on track uh, so he has actually closed in just a little bit on where davy uh, and zap had been previously we've got a bit more pressure behind than we had earlier in the race we come through then again, the fast S's flat out once again through here. We've got a slightly better line, I think, than Wood through these corners because it does allow us to close in slightly into this final sector of the track. We just take a little bit too much curb there. That's going to cost us a couple of tenths of a second. We're going to take this a little bit more safely just as Wood is up ahead of us so that neither of us run wide this time around. And we look up to the top left-hand corner of the screen and you can see we're going to have two more laps of this to try and get past him and up into second place we're benefiting from the tour here we're going to get on the brakes as late as we can and then try and carry as much speed as we can through the left right and try and close up again we've gained those two tenths of a second back just by being a bit more aggressive through the chicane so there's a little bit more time to come from us yet and we're going to set an almost identical time once more we flash forward then onto the next lap towards the end of it and we've gained three tenths of a second through this lap so we're pushing really really hard here but so is wood the gap has hardly come down despite the fact we're going half a second more than half a second quicker than we have so far in this race so we're really bringing the best out of each other in this race for second place Wood sets the fastest lap of the race, but then we set the fastest lap of the race straight after, a couple of hundreds quicker, into the 159s now, 159.7 uh, is the quickest lap of the race now, and it's ours, as we come on to the final lap of the race here, so it's now or never, I have to try and squeeze up onto the rear wing of Wood here, and try and make a move somewhere, on this Nürburgring lap. We've dropped Berkel back behind us then. He's a good three seconds behind now. So it's all eyes forward as we try and claim this final extra spot uh, to get up into second place. Westenfeld, as long as he doesn't make a mistake, he's got this race win sealed uh, up now. Uh, but we could find ourselves in second place if we can only uh, force Wood into a further mistake. Through the right-hander then, we're gonna get down the hill towards the hairpin this is one area where we might run a little bit deep so i want to just try and keep this neat and tidy into the corner here we've pushed it a little bit harder than we normally would but i think we're going to carry decent speed through and we have emerged from the corner a little bit closer to him 0.6 seconds says the relative board flat out through here one final time 
and again we're closing in all the time now we're less than half a second behind him we're going to get down into fourth gear when the braking point arrives here we go carry as much speed as we can through the left hander that was very very nice He's taken a decent corner through there as well. Can we close in through this right-hander? He's nearly off into the gravel again, but he just about gets uh, the judgment right there. We're tucked into his draft, but it isn't looking like we're going to be close enough here. The gap is still four and a half tenths of a second. There's no braking zone to speak of here. We're down into fourth gear as late as we can, carry as much speed through here as we can. Sparks flying as we come towards the end of what has been a thoroughly absorbing race here. We close in as much as we can, but the gap is going to be around three tenths of a second as we cross the finishing line for the final time. What a race uh, for the podium positions there. Really, really enjoyable. Credit to the guys at the front for making that so much fun um, to push all race long and be really competitive uh, but without any sign uh, that there was going to be any contact or any dangerous driving there here's the final classified results then congratulations to Westenfeld for getting the race win look at the fastest laps from the top three of us there all in the 59 sevens uh, really evenly matched pace and only a couple of seconds covering the three of us by the end really really enjoyable i hope you enjoyed it if you have leave a like get subscribed to the channel and i will see you next time